two is the right word. When that and that are merged properly, seems like that's when the core begins to show a glow. Okay, so it's a good uh, reference point that you're balanced at that level. How do you know? Because the core is starting to radiate out or emanate, or set say the words. Ah. Close enough for government work here, people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 where are we? Where are we? Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, what was the write up tonight? Not that we need it. I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do anyway. But what, Using what, what, imagination. Ah. Okay. We have, uh, is this the proper map? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the manifest creation, okay, uh, we've been talking about there are different forms or styles uh, uh, down dark time. To bring you to a better level for the next springtime to show, okay, uh, to let go of things, letting go. So the next can show, next inferring a better level of things. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. A, a gravity type thing to represent settling down, allow the gravity. And that'll bring you to a better level. Also helps when you infer that you imagine, use imagination, imagine a better level and boom, it blossoms. So there's this downtime, letting go of everything previous to the next, it sounds like winter to the next springtime, okay? But it's nicer than winter. When I first tried that word out the other day uh, in that sense of, well, winter is cold and it's ice and it, oh, and it, bleh, bleh, uh, this winter's, we got to hang with it more. I mentioned that a couple of weeks ago. The, the beauty, the, the softness, the whatever of the actual feeling of dark with itself to then allow the next boom. Okay. So, and to keep that in mind that it's experiencing itself, feeling itself. I think I said about the dark. Uh, to do the same thing with any form that you're going to use, the uh, uh, what are they? clearing, the gravity form, the trade in form. What the uh, trade in? Okay, I'm going to trade in. It's just a word. But is there a feeling of trading in itself, feeling itself trading in? Bear with me. As if sensing, experiencing, using imagination to sense, experience that, whatever word you give it, letting go, downtime, dark time, clearing. Uh, so that such a, should be something similar in its feeling itself. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> The, again, other forms we've used, uh, in the manifest, uh, to start the game going, we played with uh, two major vibrations, the great center, for me, yeah, ye, you, yeah, yo, and the great circle responding, mommy, moo, memo. And as you get more harmony there with the energy, is finer and finer with that yayi and mommy. Finer. Anytime along the way, depending on you, there's a balance, finer level of balance between those two, where you can sh shift into, click into self, self in the domain. Exactly when you're able to do that, when that happens, apparently it varies with different people. Some people catch it early, oh, since they said. Some people need a little bit finer balance, and then they'll catch it. He said some people catch it later. Then he said some people miss it completely, 
because the manifest can get finer and finer, virtually finer and finer and finer and finer and finer, finer, finer. And they get so wrapped up or so, what's the word? Noah, what's the word? So wrapped up with that fineness. Give me a word. Uh, enraptured. Okay, enraptured. So enraptured by the, the beauty of balance, the uh, uh, harmony of balance, the sweetness of balance, the lovingness of balance. Uh, and they're almost blinded by the finer dimensional levels of energies in the manifest. Okay, so I'm not putting that down. I'm just saying, after a while, people, enough is enough. Yes, get some balance so that we can properly move, extricate ourselves out of there so we can be a self in the domain. Okay, so, whew. Uh, oh, sensei also like fire, water. Uh, if you double those up, I use fire up and water down. When you start to get a balance, you actually start to sense it's steaming. You start to, um, through imagination, feeling this steam. That tells you they're starting to balance. Because if there's too much fire, the water can't really be water, it'll dissipate. There's too much water, it'll drown out the fire, so not ever going to be any steam. Uh, and then you double it up. So there's fire and water, and, and, and water and fire. So you get sort of a double steam after a while. Okay. Uh, that steam uh, can then be the doorway to self in the domain. Uh, and these different styles will just give you a different mm, different little sense of things. So they all breathe in the same place, but with a little different sense of things. For example, for me, it was a steam practice. Uh, there would be a lot of cleanliness as there would be in a, in a steam room uh, that sort of feel clearer. Uh, I don't know if that means that my self in the domain will have a, a much clearer awareness of things or what, but but that that flavor of cleanliness seems to carry. Uh, the vibrational form of the yayimami, for example, uh, vibration balance into the domain where it'd be a whole other level of that. Okay. A sense of say in the domain, the textures are different. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Higher water. Yeah, ye mommy. Uh, any, anything that helps you balance is cool. Okay. And any level of balance is cool. So even if you're a Bobby and you settle a little bit, you start to balance. You're not really a Bobby anymore or an upset Bobby. You start to become. Ah, better for Robert inferring a better level of me on my lineage. Okay. So, and if Robert continues with balance of, of at that level of balance, whatever form he's doing, a chanting form, uh, uh, just moving to represent that form, uh, whatever, then that can help move him to a better level, which will be like a Nado whatever your level there is. <laughs> okay. uh, don't be an ado, be you. But anyway, at that level, so balance, 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 balance uh, is, is a very important basic, okay? Uh, okay, where the hell are we? Okay, oh, sensei's... Uh, uh, Imaginary, okay, imagination. Well, Sensei uh, inferred, said imaginary is, is more mental. And, uh, uh, it's dusty on. Uh, and when dusty went something about imagination, I, I went, got a little freaky. Ah, no. <laughs> uh, that's, that's that men mental. 
uh, imaginary. Well, Sensei said, but this imagination word, that's a bit different, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Imagine through all of this. Uh, take the fast route through all these dimensions. Yeah. We start you off with one level to the next, to the next, Bobby, Robert, not go, or a one by to a two by to a three by to give you some flavor of how it works. But after a bit, I don't want to go five by six by seven by eight by nine, 112 by now 113 by. I mean, come on already. You got the sense of it. Now, the imagination through all of that, the fast forms, the express elevators. Okay. So imagination was an important one to O Sensei. At one time, he said, now, though you use it, but you don't fully understand it. And I have to ponder that and hang with that for quite a while. Okay, I use it, what am I doing? I didn't fully understand it. And so it's like a whoosh, boom, fast form. Imagination through all of this stuff. Apparently we have that capability, okay? Uh, so, uh, I was thinking also when I was playing with fast forms, so it's kind of almost like one form is like an, an invisible breathing, an invisible breath. Forget everything you know about breathing, okay? I'm talking here at a, a, a very fine breath that passes through everything. There are no walls for this imaginary breathing. It goes through everything to eventually a very fine level we're calling the domain, self in the domain. Uh, so we're talking again about uh, uh, express elevator styles. Um, keep, again, find the one that's comfortable for you. Reminder of sensitive, say, try a couple of the others. You know, if you like the dark form, cool, but sometimes try just being letting go or clearing and try try that one, okay? Uh, if you like that one, another day try, oh, don't overlap them at the same time, you'll get confused. So keep a certain time for one and a different time for, for another. Don't do a partial one and then halfway there change to another and then change to another three quarters, uh, too, too confusing. Stay with the one you're on. It's good, good practice. Uh, so clearing, letting go, going dark, deep. Okay. okay. Uh, so this this imagination. Let me stand and. And shift the map. So oh, remind you about the three-layer cake, which is again basically the same as the other one. Okay, three-layer cake size. Okay. Oh, ah. <coughs> there we are. Okay. <coughs> okay. Physical body to start with. Ah, feeling. Physical body feeling. Physical body actual feeling. Okay. Now from the get-go, I kind of a percentage game but again. Uh, so I know I can I can feel it uh, that I'm thinking about feeling. Okay, I mean, I'm aware of feeling. It's okay. It's a percentage game. A change to the experience of feeling here. Feeling. Ah, I actually felt something happening in my thighs. Right now, my feet are touching uh, flat-footed onto the rug much, much more. Ah, I feel the breath wanting to change. It's uh, fighting itself for a moment. Easy, easy. Ah, physical. The heavier 
level in the manifest, okay? And we could say there's a couple of uh, dimensions of the heavier le level, okay? Uh, so I would say now just, just to say something, ah, I'm at the next level of uh, heavier matter, physical, just because it, it feels more balanced here, the way my arms are moving together. If I'm not at this level, one arm would move well and the other one would sort of lag a bit. So at this level of body, present, settling, balancing, at this level, the way they move together clues me in. Ah, ah the breathing is starting to square away, like it's starting to do this kind of clearing here. Ah. So this physical unit is breathing better. There's a, a pulsation that I can feel. So I can say, oh, it's going down now. Oh, here it comes. It's coming up now. I can feel the pulsations. So that tells me I'm at a certain level. Okay. Second level of heavy manifest dimension. Ah. Feeling. Feeling. Feeling, double checking. I catch myself also looking around, trying to be aware of what's next. It's okay, it's a percentage game. All right. Now, back to more experience, experience or feeling. What's happening in my system is I'm starting to feel more back of my body. Ah. The front feels pretty uh, equal, uh, but at this level, I notice there's a back presence, back presence. If I were to enter something, I feel like I have my own backup support, okay? And that I'm not getting involved in something that way, that there is support of my back. My, my back is moving me forward, kind of thing. Okay. And for me, some uh, some level like that would tell me that's pretty good for the heavier dimensions manifest. Continuing, start to shift soon into an energy dimension level. Continue to settle, easy. Settle and open, easy. Also, there's a sense as I settle, I'm, that's why I like the pools of energy. I'm, I'm getting into a deeper pool of more energy. So for me, it's important to sort of open so that more energy doesn't push me. Okay. <clears throat> and if I were to feel myself being pushed, Physically or mentally, I could start to spin. Uh, it would sort of remind me, settle down and open up a little bit more before you really approach this pool of energy that's here. Okay? Um, now, the way my body's moving, you know, like the beginnings of a Tai Chi practitioner, the way my body's moving. So I'm not telling my body to do those moves. At this level, it starts to it starts to move freer itself. Okay, uh, my example at this stage, but there should be something that you can recognize at this whatever fourth level, where it's starting to be finer energy level starting to show through, show through the body. Careful of aware of that, it's internal, it's inner finer here, okay? <clears throat> I could double check by saying, okay, let me get there again. At this level where the energies begin to seem to flow my body a bit, at that level has a core. I haven't brought that up on the series yet. But that level has a core. 
And that core is that energy level. And it's the core of it. From that, things flow. The core flowing, core flowing, out of the core flowing, radiating. Well, sometimes they would say emanating. I like radiating sometimes. I like flowing from the core sometimes. Whatever word is comfortable for you. Oh, okay. Bam. Then you continue into finer and finer. Uh, again, uh, imagination. Uh, so we try to start you off in the beginning with something, uh, uh, Katya, can I bore you? Hold. Um, put the camera. Uh, but we do dumb stuff in the beginning, just to see if you're heading in the right direction, and you're getting the proper inner sense radiating outward thing. So you might do things like uh, just hold, uh, receiving style. I just want to check this. I have to break. But... <laughs> Okay, because eh, I felt a little too much energy from here, like I'm a physical person uptight, put a push kacha. Easy, settle down at this level, core from the core, core radiating. Percentage should be better, easy. At this level, there is a core and it radiates. Not too much push, I'll have to change my move. It's more of a hold. There we go. Now, a good uke, a partner, should be able to tell whether I'm out here knowing all this stuff. Oh yes, yeah, since I know about core, but... Okay, as opposed to the actual, actual core, core flow. They should be able to tell if you got a good partner. Yeah? <laughs> should be able to feel it coming from here through, from here through the body. Yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, so good partners work their weight in gold. I call them spotters. Thank you. <clears throat> so, so in following the, uh, which one? Oh, the three layer. There it is, the three layer cake thing. So, uh, again, I break it up a little bit different than you know, Sensei. Uh, I say the first layer is uh, heavier. Next layer is the finer energy dimensions. Okay. And they get finer and finer. And core could be a reference if you want to. Uh, bring in core or the character. Uh, you're at a much finer energy level. Who are you now? How do you feel about yourself? And how do you view the world? Because at that finer level, the energy is mixed up. It's a little different level of you. So I'm not Bobby anymore. Okay. Uh, interesting. Hang out and you feel and you. You, you sense, you sense, is the world exactly the same as it was when you're the heavier guy, or is there a different sense about it? Okay. Uh, so we've done a lot of dumb practices, walking under pressure, uh, uh, pushing on your hip, kind of see if the core is flowing there a bit. Uh, just to double check that you're heading the right way and getting at those first click, click levels, uh, a sense of the direction and a better sense of how to get there faster. Ah, boom. Uh, okay. So they're not meant to be 
continued and continued. It looks like putting my arm against a train or a Mack truck or something. Come on. Okay. But just to make sure we're in the right direction and starting to clip outward from that level. Okay. Is that, did I say that? All right. Did you buy that, Brad? <laughs> take a pause. Uh, take a pause. Will I figure out where I'm at again? Ah, oh, oh. inner. Inner becomes the actual. Okay. It's not an awareness of inner. You might want to start there. That's okay. You need an idea to get started, but has to be the experience of that uh, core or that level of you. <clears throat> How to say that better? Damn the words. Where this inner sensing is the reality. Okay. It's not me out here saying, oh yeah, I'm sort of aware of an inner guy and he can uh, move along under pressure, he can walk. I'm sort of aware of it. No, it's, this is first and foremost, this is the reality, okay? The heavier part of me, uh, that's secondary now. The inner ha 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 is primary. I don't want to say that. This is the one that is believed. See, I don't want to say this is the one that I believe because it will come out to the heavier again. This is the one that's truer. Didn't say it was perfect. But at this level, this one is a hell of a lot better than Bobby. God knows what bullshit Bobby will say. This level guy wouldn't speak as dumb as Bobby or as nasty as Bobby or as stupid as Bobby. It's, it's a whole different level and it's here functioning, it's here aware. Okay. I said they went great with this. So when that was there, it was like, oh my God, is that for real? It was like beyond belief sometimes. Just trying to show yes. And that's available to everybody. Just catch on to how it works and play with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I saw our Aikido training should really be inner development work. Unfortunately, the human beings take this inner work and keep checking the outward. Is it getting better out there? Uh, yeah, unfortunately it will, but it doesn't mean you're doing inner developmental work. Okay. Tricky, tricky how the humans can screw up everything. Uh, anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so heavier energy, finer energy dimensions, balanced to some degree with a sense and urge of calling Self will be calling. Self is in here to varying levels all along the way. Even Bobby, weird Bobby, crazy Bobby, there's still a self there. But he's wrapped up with some heavy stuff. And he, he sort of can't run the show at all. As Bobby settles down and there's a Robert, the self there's a little bit more present. More, more, I meditate. Whoa, I've been meditating for six months, whoa. By that time, there should be a little bit more of a self present, okay? And a meditator at that level, maybe start to catch something, hey, something here, I have a sense of something, okay? Or not, as the case may be. But as you continue, as you continue, Finer and finer balance should be good enough for anybody that has a calling from self. 
and start to make that shift, self extricating from the manifest wrappings into the domain of re returning domain of the returning self. And self gets to hang out with itself as self. We're not in the heavies anymore. I like that oh, since they use a different word for, for that, because in talking with him, he did at different times say uh, 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 some, uh, talk about the, do, uh, the what we're calling domain, the domain of, of, of self. He would sometimes say uh, that dimension level. He sometimes say, oh, that universe. But I'm glad he finally changed that at the end with me. He said, the domain. I thought, oh, that's cool. It gives it its own specialness. If we do say, oh, uh, it's another world, we would probably take a lot of the heaviness of the earlier heavy world into this world or the finer. We, we'd be in a finer manifest thinking, that's it. I'm there. Okay. And make up all kinds of bullshit. Uh, by making it special, self in the domain of self. Yeah, yeah, it's following the pattern, but it's special. It, it talk about a, a, a big step. This is a major, major, major step. Cool, very cool work. If you can get there and play, hang out there, cool, good piece of work. We're not finished, but a great piece of work. Wow. Okay, I'm getting lost. Help me, where am I? <laughs> where are you? Where are we? Imagine so Sensei. Sensei. Oh. Huh? Yeah, I, I had a question. Um, when you were just up, when you were just demonstrating your movement and how it became circular and spherical and and I don't know, you 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 moved uh, in a particular way, and and you said, yeah, it just sort of happened. Is <clears throat> that is, is was that an example of self experiencing itself? Uh, uh, don't bring self in here. We're, okay, we're in heavy right. and manifest. My God, we're at okay. we're at the first level of energy. Uh, no, don't bring self in. Okay, I'm glad if you know there's a self there someplace, but, but don't bring <laughs> it in now. Okay, I mean it won't be long. Following that, where Bobby says I'm self, and I'm in the domain, and it's goddamn Bobby, that idiot. Uh, don't don't jump the gun here. Don't jump the gun. Have patience, my son. Okay. Yes, there's probably a self there. There's always a self, but it's so shrouded over or covered, wrapped up. Don't mind unwinding. Don't mind clearing. Take your time here. Uh, and if as you're doing that, you can keep saying something like, "I know there's a self here someplace." It will show when it's time for it to show. And I continue my level at a time, my Bobby to Robert to Nado. To, ah, so you could all along the way know or infer there's a self, but don't don't make it the major. It's it's uh for where we were, the first energy dimension. Too soon to even bring that word up. Is it did I say that right? Is that okay? That's fine, Sensei. I got that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, see, the problem with words, and you know, Sensei was always bothered by that, too. It's sort of, you say something fancy, and it's too much for people to catch on to, or they use it in a lesser place, and it loses its real meaning, where it really came from, because they've learned the word. Okay. And yet, you kind of you kind of have to sort of if you're going to point out something, you have to maybe point out to the human apes that there is a heavenly location eventually. But when the heavy apes start talking about heaven, it's like not now. You're going to bullshit it. We're going to be talking about how many angels fit on the head of a pin any moment now. You understand what I'm trying to say here? Uh, Easy, take your time, don't jump the gun. I don't mean stay at a level and hang out there for 18 lifetimes. I don't mean that. 
But I don't mean for Bobby to suddenly think he's God or a God. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Enjoy those earlier steps, which you should have done. You've been around for years, you people. Those earlier steps of development. Now all we're saying is now you can get through all of that. But don't be calling a step or two and suddenly interjecting fancy words like, oh, this is the real self and this is the uh, uh, domain of self and oh, heaven's around the corner and this is, don't do that. Don't, I'll, you'll freak me out. I have no choice but the bitch. <laughs> okay. Okay, let a couple of people want to say something. Where are we? What are we doing? So I'd say this is Lauren, and I yes. wanted to ask, you said just a few minutes ago that when O Sensei lit up, was emanating, it was incredible. I wonder if you, I wonder if you can describe what it was like in more either by a story or some was, adjectives, it, it what was the experience the of him? It what wasn't was the, the same. It wasn't the same all the time, okay? One time, uh, there's a dojo uh, entryway to the men's bathroom, washroom, corridor, same corridor to O Sensei's living quarters. And I'm washing at the washstand there. And O Sensei walks by. And I say, oh my God, is he pissed? There's just boom. But after a moment of hanging, I guess, uh, uh, with that flavor that was there, I realized, no, he's not pissed. Uh, it was just powerful. I said, what's going on? Because he was like walking, like, like he was immense, okay? With a lot of liveness that I at first thought was he's pissed. Uh, but then my second take was not something else, but it was powerful. So I leave the washroom. Uh, <clears throat> one of the deshi, you don't know him because he was always low keyed and he's hiding out in the hills of Mexico. Curita, uh, 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 he was a zuke that night and Krita was standing there by the doorway and I said, and Krita's shaking a bit. Okay, he's shaking. I said, Krita, what's, what's up? And something like uh, 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 a well-known martial artist or warrior is visiting tonight. Okay, so I thought, oh, okay. Oh, Sensei was turning on to Oh, Sensei of Aikido in case I would surmise he had to do anything with this famous warrior who was visiting. Okay. Uh, but this immensity feeling, uh, this, uh, this energy, I mean, Kurita picked it up right away. He was shaking because the old man's going to throw him and you don't know what the hell's going to happen. Because <laughs> it feels like you're going to be thrown by a volcano or something, you know. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, so that, that was... Uh, uh, that was a strong one. Other days uh, would be different. Can't think of anything particular. <sighs> okay, once we we're having a, uh, it might have been time I was going to uh, leave uh, uh, Japan for whatever. And I uh, had a couple of questions for him. And he came out the entourage. Uh, he had his interpreter, uh, that guy who tells her name. Harry? Huh? No, no, Jesus Christ. No. Uh, Sonado Marie says they. Sonado Marie, thank you. My historian, Sonado Marie. And uh, she was gonna be one of the interpreters. I forget who else was there. But a sensei, sits and he settles and it's like he's going very internal very very deep it wasn't like he was yes not though what's up it, it was it just is very very deep 
And <clears throat> then when he did start to say something, uh, it would come out from this very deep place. Uh, my sense would be he knew these last couple of questions I had were important and I'm leaving. And uh, so he really wanted to be at a good place to answer me properly. Just want to mouth off. Okay, want to be at a good place. He was very deep and and, and that, that inner being present was very, very strong in its own way. It's the best I can describe that. Does that make any sense to you, Lauren? Yes, yes, very much so. He spoke from this deep inner place. <clears throat> also, that's, should I tell the story? Sure, why not? That's where I learned not to trust some of the people because they had time in with those sensei. Oh, that guy spent many years with those sensei. You know, after a while, to me, that was bullshit. That's nice. That don't mean anything. A, here's an example. So I say, now again, this lady is interpreting, and she's been with those sensei for years and years. She was part of the Emoto kill. She had all that background, and she was his... Uh, I call her his, his whisker wiper, his uh, lady in waiting. Yes, NG. Uh, lady in waiting. She loves around kind of thing. And uh, so there's authentic. There's this lady, here's me. Okay. And my question was phrased, I don't remember the questions now, but I phrased it like, does it work this way? Dot, 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 dot. And she said, no. And before she could proceed, Sensei said, no, he's right. <laughs> I proceed with the second question. Does it work this way? Dot, 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 dot. And she starts again, no. And before she can continue, Sensei says, he's right. And it happened a third time at least. Uh, from that point on, I don't listen to anybody about how many years they spent with old Sensei. For me, that was an example. She, she, she was probably a cool lady. It's nice she spent time with those sensei and tried. But when it came to nitty gritty stuff, oh, sensei. Okay. So, things that form the, the nado that you know. <laughs> uh, And he went, okay, we're not finished, somebody? Oh, you've heard about Osente walking through the crowds. Uh, <clears throat> you, they parted like the Red Sea. <laughs> now, you have to understand, if you're a foreigner in downtown, any place, Tokyo, the crowds are there. And as a former, you don't know how to walk through. Okay? But after a bit, you learn how to maneuver your way through. Okay, So most of us Westerners who are sort of present learn how to move through crowds. But when you were walking with those sensei, like going to the train station or what, like that, he would walk. And you had to run to keep up with him. And you've heard this story by many people who were with those sensei when he was walking to the train and they had to run. This was, a, this was true, <laughs> you know? And I could walk fast, but that wasn't good enough. I saw that I had a few fast steps in there to try to keep up. So I don't know how he was moving through there, but many of us had to run to keep up with him. This is an old man, you know? <laughs> Ah, uh, well, so does that, whatever, whatever that means. <laughs> uh, Sensei, this is Mike. I just wanted to um, just, just check with you. When you're talking about a Sensei in that example, you're, are you saying that the crowd parted for him or merely that he no, was no, able no, no, to no, no, no. through the crowd? I don't know. I just know I had to run to keep up with him. 
Now, I don't know if the crowd parted like the Red Sea or if he just was, I really don't know. I, I really didn't look and see what was going on with the crowd. So I probably should have, but I didn't. I was too busy running. So I have no answer for you. Well, from what you're saying, I get the sense that it was more that he was in tune with the crowd and simply able to flow oh, through yeah, the crowd. Okay, Victor. whatever you want to say there. Oh, yeah, he was in tune. See, uh, yes, Mike, whatever, yes. <laughs> Thank you. See, I don't want to make up stories about how he was doing this unless it's something I actually know. Yeah. Let me tune into the crowd. Sorry. Yeah, it was, it was just being your sensei. And what happens after that just happens. So it's not like I got to get in tune with this crowd. And then in uh, 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 Hawaii, he's got to change how he tunes in because there are Hawaiian people and he's got to get through them. Uh, uh, those words are probably fine, Michael. Don't mind me. I'm being that asshole not over again. Don't forget me. Okay. Okay. Uh, one small thing. I, I don't remember where he was coming from. We were in the train and he had a, a bottle of pop soda uh, and he finished and he put the bottle down and I thought well I don't want that maybe it was not quite finished yet, or I guess it was finished uh, and I didn't want it there uh, so it's going to be nice and move it and when I went to move it he was already had picked it up it's a quick fast thing and I thought I was like wait a minute this old man I'm at my best, I still got all my muscle, not quite all my muscle mass, but I'm in damn good shape. I've been up and down in the dojo every damn day, you know? And I'm reaching for this, and he already has picked it up. It's a small thing, but caught my attention. <laughs> anyway, what's in the telling? I don't know if there's any magic to you there, but, but I felt like, what just happened? <laughs> But it was so fleeting, uh, I could have said, I, I must have fell asleep when I was reaching because he picked it up before I could wake up and grab it. It wasn't like that. I have an idea to reach, and I hardly get started. Where we had that bottle here? <laughs> kind of thing. Okay. Make of that what you will. Uh, you can make up any story. Mike, you can make up any stories you want about that. <laughs> Did he feel my intention to pick up the bottle? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. It just it happened. <laughs> hmm. uh, this is not magic, but I like to smoke, you know. Uh, it's my form of suicide. So, But I, to be polite, on the train, I... Uh, I couldn't just light up with those sensei there. So I offer him a cigarette. And if he <laughs> took one, then I could smoke on the train there. Usually he would take one and have a few puffs. When he said no, I have to say to myself, shit, because then I got to go to the end of the train and smoke on me, whatever. Uh, but that was cute. So. Don't make anything of that story. It just, I just found it cute or something. <laughs> Sensei, you want a cigarette? Oh, great. <laughs> I get to smoke. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. Uh, yeah, Lauren, I'm sorry I don't have more explanations because uh, uh, it, it would vary, uh, but I, I, I don't have a good memory for Remember, I'm not the best storyteller in town. You should have asked Terry Dobson. He, he, he does, he did stories well. He, he, uh, he did, and we have several books from him. But uh, a sensei, uh, when I spoke to you the other day, you used a particular phrase, uh, magic breath. Oh, I was about this, uh, 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 this fast form this express elevator and the different forms of express elevator that we could use. Well, Sensei liked the one and he really pushed me to catch on to it, the imagination through all of that. Boom. Okay. And again, he said, you use it, 
if you don't fully understand it, I wasn't even sure how I used it. So when I check my uh, my simple practices, uh, uh, the pushing arm thing, for example, uh, physically I, I I can't do that. Click, boom, it's emanating, boom. I wouldn't be able to get to that level really quick. So I can go from physical to an energy flow level pretty fast. Okay. Uh, so eventually I realized, oh, I was using imagination in doing that. Okay. okay. And I think that's why I stood up to have us do that, but I forgot where I was. Uh, but just to imagine a certain level and from that level, boom, boom, boom. That uh, again, I think once you get the sense of the creation and the dimensionality and a bit about the balance, a bit about the idea of it and the aliveness of it or the awareness of it and the embodiment of it, the <laughs> of it uh, and the dimensionality, uh, at any level of a good balance, finer dimension, you can move through all of that self in the domain. That these fast forms are to be able to do that quickly. Um, oh, since I was fast, so fast. You would play games with people and they'd say, see this old man, and you would be an old man. Kind of like, now watch what this old man can do. Shh, boom. And suddenly it was Uyashiba like, you know. And he liked to play games with people with, with that. It, it amused him to say, see this old man? Boom. And he'd do something outlandish, like, you know. <laughs> drop 10 guys or uh, uh, virtually disappear in front of your face. Uh, this stuff, but whatever. It, it amused him. But he was trying to show the process. You see, a lot of people might misunderstand. They say, oh, he's just showing power. No, he was trying to show you get to your place. And there are many ways in which that those emanations and your presence at that level, it's, it's, it's wild. And you guys can do this. Stop being uh, human beings. You're bitching and moaning and affected. And no, oh, no, it's me. And oh, isn't that pretty? And I want more of that. And it's like, here it is. Click, 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 click. Boom. We have that capability, but we have to practice. We have to play. We've laid out a pretty damn good map, but we have to play. You see, even for me, the domain, self in the domain. This is brand new territory. I can map it for you and help you. But to hang out there, as uh, Susan was saying, this is something me and her are playing with in a certain format. Okay, so this is new terrain for us. I'm a great mapper, so I'll present to you as a, as the maps clarify and anything that facilitates which is what we're talking about now, the facilitation, how to get there and how to be able to hold it, not quite the right word, how to be able to uh, uh, retain it. Uh, a lesser level would be like the center in dojo and, and how to, uh, here comes an attacker who's moving a little faster and you lose your center. Uh, how you retain your center so you know he's pretty fast, you can cope with him okay. Okay. It's kind of like that at its advanced level. How to retain self in the domain with self radiating, emanating core, and how to retain it. Okay. Uh, uh, Autumn, I think you mentioned something about that. It, I almost jumped in because you said a word about, I think something about retaining it or 
Hold, holding it. He said holding it. Holding something. I forget where we were in the conversation, but holding something. And I said, I said something was there about something like, well, you don't have to hold it. I forgot exactly what word, but it's something like that. Hold it. It's, I don't know, retain it. Uh, so that it's the truth. It's the uh, teacher, Noah, you want to help me here? This word, this, this sense of this self in the domain here as being the truth. And it radiates, manifests, emanates. And there was O Sensei. And he was there. <laughs> You're going to touch him. <laughs> okay. It was magic land. And again, the magic land is available to us. Right. And he was hoping by training properly that because he was a martial artist, so he used that form to bring us to this place was always what he was trying to do. Uh, he might have muffed it up in some of the words he used, how he laid it out. Uh, but he was trying, he was trying. When he finally got a bit tired of talking and realized he was overdoing it, confusing people, uh, he tried to just show them, like, watch this old man. Now, he wouldn't explain clearly what he was doing, but watch this old man. Now we know. Boom. And somebody's not an old man anymore. But I get lost here. How to retain this, hold this inner self? He says that needs practice. And like if you're a newbie there, I like that newbie. If you're a newbie there, uh, one thing you have to be careful of, I already mentioned, is wow, the domain. Uh, and you're going to get spun out. He said you'll. Uh, if you get wowed by that, you'll probably spin out of it into finer dimensions of the domain. So you're out of there back to the manifest finer and say domain, finer energies of the manifest. So it needs a little practice to be able to sustain that. Probably akin to how we have to practice to retain a center. When there's an easy attacker, it wasn't too bad to retain center. Now, there's a stronger attacker. Good, you retain your center. You may have had to practice there a little bit to retain your center with a, a stronger attacker. Now, you're looking pretty good. We'll have two attackers and see if you can retain your center. You see? And at first, you, you, you can't deal with two or three or four, definitely. You lose your center, of course. That's why you practice, to find a, a deeper, fuller center that'll mix up whatever words we're using in the manifest, mix up a better character who can deal with three or four. Boom, 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 bang, bing, bing, boom. So uh, the patterns, oh, the patterns continue. A lot of patterns that we use in the manifest, like balancing, having a core, letting each finer level be the main level, okay? Am I saying that right? That this inner mix is the boss right now. He handles things from his level. It's not the outer Bobby heavier handling it with knowledge. There is an inner. It's the actual inner functioning. Ah, the words, the words. So that pattern in manifest continues into the domain that's here and now, and the self's presence in that domain, it's, it follows the same pattern, okay? So know, pay attention. Uh, 
feel your patterns, Bobby to Robert, no, no, whatever, feel your patterns so that when you get to the domain, your inner sense of patterns is like, oh, it's the domain, it's different. But many of the patterns are the same. There's still a core. There's still an emanation, radiation, whatever. I'm still in a, a type of a world called the domain. But as those sense I said, the texture's different. Uh, but there's a lot of basics that continue. I still feel in the domain two big beats. Okay. And that those two big beats assist the self in developing to be a better self in the domain. So there's certain patterns that just seem to go right through. It's nice it was created that way. Wouldn't it be a bitch if to go from a physical to a little finer energy, uh, that was a particular pattern. And then suddenly when you go from that energy to a finer energy, it was a whole different thing. Uh, we we never get out of this manifest trap that we've entrapped ourselves into. Uh, so thank God there are certain patterns okay, that continue and continue and continue. And so when you get a sense experience of those patterns, don't lose them because you're in domain. Remember the self, again, not only is aware, it's experiencing its aliveness. Okay, and I want to bring that one up a lot because a lot of people are major and aware. They don't have enough experience. Or they're aware there should be an experience. But it's not the experience. They're aware there's an experience. You see? So the, this kind of awareness sometimes double tricks itself. You see? So I say to you, uh, okay, you understand center a bit now, the actual center. Okay, oh, and I see a little straightening, a little something. Okay, good. Now, a fuller, deeper center is sort of the idea of it. And someplace along the way, I don't see any change. And I say to you, uh, uh, I'm sorry, nothing happened. Uh, and you say, but I understand, sensei. You're just awareness on me again. I understand. What are you going to say next? Now I really understand? And I don't want that. I want its counterpart. That's why I've been pushing you on the hip or pushing your arm or whatever. To use that as a reference. Now, if you're still in awareness, I push on your arm and you get pissed at me. And you start to push me back. And too many of you have done that to me at which time I usually walk away. At the moment, there's no hope here. They're doubling up on awareness. Uh, so anyway, I get touchy there. Ancient problem. So double up your experience, double up the aliveness, double up the, okay? And watch out for awareness. It's, it's certainly tricky. Oh yes, I'm aware of center. I read the centering book. Oh, I know about Thor. I read, what's his name? Not here ago. Noah? Uh, Adam. Oh, God. I just blanked on it. Uh, <laughs> no, we can't have the both of us blanking. Uh, Hergo was uh, that guy. He was then in the art of archery. Yeah. Anyway, the guy who wrote the Hada book. You can <laughs> read that book and any other books about, but. It's expanding this. Now we need its counterpart, which is the actual experience, the actual sensing it, the actual imagine you're at a better level and feel that. Feel that. Feel that. Okay. Durkheim. Huh? Durkheim. Durkheim, ah, Durkheim yes. Durkheim. Ah. Uh, Anyway, so keep in mind, patterns in the manifest, uh, thank God, continue to hold true. See, there's where the core one is a beautiful example. Physical core, everyone out there now knows it's a core. Any Pilates teacher in town knows there's a core. Uh, 
Every yoga teacher knows there's a core. Uh, most of the bodybuilders are catching on core, core, core. Uh, cool. Tai Chi people know there's a core at their level of energy. And the good ones know there's a finer next, next core energy. Okay? And lo and behold, that continues into domain. So self as its balance with itself, there's a core. Okay. Ooh, ate up a lot of time there. Anybody before we all poop out here or before I bore you to death? Fast I forward. I would say maybe, maybe we've come to the end of the story tonight. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I answered your question about the breath. Uh, I'm just playing with it as this, like a magical breath that just passes through it, everything. It, it's magical. No walls can stop it. It just passes through all heavier dimensions, lighter dimensions, passes through to the domain. But just like in that invisible, it's something, but it's virtually invisible when it passes through everything. I, I kind of like the flavor of that. Hmm. Right. It's lovely. If anybody does, anybody have any last comments or questions for Sensei? I think I've got one more, Sensei. Go ahead. Um. So we're in the domain, and as you go deeper into the self of that domain or the uh, okay well i don't know if you have to go deeper into yourself on domain uh in the domain self is there okay imagine it like a field you have some sense of something so it's like a field okay uh, for me at the moment it feels more egg-shaped than round okay and more of it's Banding on itself, it's with its with in itself, it's it's feeling its own aliveness. I started you off, I think, saying within itself a kind of two beats. I'm more alive with itself. Okay. Right. I thought that was a good trick for people to get the aliveness presence of self. Right. Not to confuse it with their other two big beats here of the related to the domain, earlier forces of the great, two forces of creation. So am I confusing you with this? No, no, no that makes sense. I just, okay. there's a further question that then there's this field. And uh, we're having trouble hearing you, please. There is kind of that field and then that center or that core, but there's something beyond it within that same domain. Do you? I'm, and I'm curious how that relates to quiet and soaking. Okay. I've got a quick, okay, so you've got a self, placing it like a uh, spherical or egg shaped field, for lack of words. Okay, something like that. Right? Are we okay so far? And as that's more balanced with itself, the awareness and the aliveness, core usually begins to show. Okay, a glow from the core. Okay? I'm not sure if you're saying, do I go deeper into it that way? I, I don't, at the moment, I, I, I don't see what to do with that. So let's hold that up as some possibility, but at the moment it's like, uh, that the self comes more fully alive, present with itself, where uh, kind of like a sensei, where you would expect as you get a practice there, that that self in its domain present would be kind of glowing where people would say, who is that lady? There's something special. Who is that person? 
Okay. There's a, something glowing there in some form. And glow may not be the right word for everybody. Uh, when Osente was that warrior e evening where he was like, boom. I don't know if it was a glow, but it was a definite boom. Okay. Uh, but oh, I want to make sure it's alive there. I want to make sure it has, a, I was trying to get across to you a week or so ago, that it has some strength, uh, <clears throat> capability, kind of like a diving belt in the ocean can withstand the pressures of the ocean. I don't know if this is a good example, but let's try it. And when it's a good diving bell, there can be all kinds of pressures out there. The diving bell doesn't feel it. It's a very good diving bell. It can just hold itself. That, that kind of thing, not quite a perfect description, but that, that's what I'm trying to have you get because of the ocean pressures that are in everybody's world, but in your world, they'll be there. They'll be there. And I don't want you to get squashed and lose yourself and get caught up into the normal bullshit of things. Uh, so I want you to have a good core as self in the domain present. That no matter what, this is the constant. This is the, and you're never that far away, we can't trigger it. Boom. Of course, you might lose it for a moment, but boom. We'll be able to get there fast. Boom. Well, since it was fast and you could hit it. Okay. And I'd like you to have a bit of that sense. Where are we? <laughs> Uh, sensei, I believe that we're at eight o'clock straight up. And so I think Lauren wants us to get off. Oh. I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. I'm going to ring the, the bell once to end us. Thank you, people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Lauren.